What's going on everybody? Today we're doing the one of the other sides of the trade that we made in yesterday's video. So it was the whole Chris Paul, Ben Simmons, Jarek Culver, Malik Beasley, Juancho Hernan Gomez, Al Horford trade. So if you don't know what trade I'm talking about, go ahead and watch yesterday's video. Come back and watch this one or watch this one first and go watch that one because I am going to show you the trade here. So that's what we're going to do today and we're going to rebuild the Thunder side of this trade where they get Al Horford, Jarek Culver, and then a few other things. So before we get into the video, as always, please consider subscribing to the channel, turning on the post notifications, and then liking today's video. I hope you guys do enjoy this video. Now let's get into it. All right, so like I said, this is the trade we're going to be doing. It's Chris Paul, Isaiah Roby, second round pick from the Thunder. You guys can see it. Pause if you want to go more in depth. But we're going to rebuild the Thunder, so let's make this pick or let's make this trade go through and then let's hop into it. So, propose this trade. Um, make this trade. Yes, perfect. Now I got to go ahead and stop being the Thunder and stop, or excuse me, stop being the 76ers and the Timberwolves. Um, so, let's go ahead and see if we can do that. So, we're not going to be the Timberwolves anymore and we're also not going to be the 76ers. Okay, so we're the Thunder. And this is what our roster looks like now. We got Shea, Danilo Gallinari, Steven Adams, uh, Dennis Schroeder, Al Horford, Jared Culver, Wancho Hernan Gomez. So first thing I'm going to do is send Culver down to the G League. And I'm also going to send... Huh. Darius Baisley down to the G League, maybe? What's his contract look like? Okay, we're going to send Darius Baisley down to the G League as well. I don't know who else I would send down there. So that's what we're going to do for this season. And we got to make some trades. So we got rid of CP3's contract. Excuse me, CP3's contract. Um, Al Horford's contract looks like this. It's not much better, but in real life, um, this final year is um, non-guaranteed. But we have some big contracts we can trade away and we can uh, maybe like, or we can keep them for now, trade them away after next season we re-sign them, which I think would work out pretty good for us. So I think I'm probably just going to simulate this season, honestly, and then try and re-sign people and trade them after free agency next year. So I'm going to simulate season number one, and I will see you guys at the end. Hopefully, we're somewhat decent, but I wouldn't be mad if our picks uh, were good. So I'll see you guys there. And at the end of the first season, we went 39 and 43. Here are all the awards. If you're interested, you can pause and really take a look. Um, but yeah, we're a little bit under 500. We might have snuck into the playoffs, but in a tough Western Conference... I kind of doubt it. Do we have any All NBA players? I doubt it, but we very we could, um, and it does not look like we do. All right. So with that being said, we are not in the playoffs. So let's go check out the stats before we simulate the playoffs. Schroeder led us in scoring with tw almost 25 points a game. Shea at only 25. And I just read something from Click Production saying Shea's tendencies. It's a zero from three, which is outrageous. Does he shoot any threes? No. Wow, that's so wrong. Um, Gallinari, 17 points. We're going to probably re-sign Adams and then trade him. Um, we're probably going to trade Al Horford. Yeah, we're going to do a lot of things this offseason. Um, but anyways, let's go to the playoffs. Minnesota's the one seed, um, so on another side of this trade, Ben Simmons, Carl Anthony Towns, and D'Angelo Russell. Leading their team really well. But let's simulate the playoffs. Let's see who wins. Minnesota ends up losing 4-1 to the Rockets, who make it all the way to the finals. But the Celtics do win the championship. Jason Tatum is the finals MVP. Let's get into the draft lottery. We should have our pick and possibly other picks as well. We are projected to get pick 13. Actually, no, we got pick 13, sorry. And pick 21 also from Denver. Okay, so staff signing. Assistant GM, we need one. We're going to try and sign Michael Williams. And then head coach, Billy Donovan's got to go. We're going to go ahead and get Michael Stauffer in here. And then trainer, we're going to keep our trainer. So can we get those two? Michael Stauffer rejected our offer. So let's go ahead and try and sign Otis Newman. And he does agree. So we're good there. Let's go to the draft. Let's see who we can get at 13. Obviously, these are all going to be uh, auto-generated players. But um, we still got to try and find the best one. J.D. Vaughn. I think we're going to go J.D. Vaughn. And then let's go to our next pick and see if there's anybody else we can get there. Um, Ross Sheldon. And that is the move for this year. So let's see how good our rookies are. 
A 76 and a 75. I'm totally happy with that. We're going to sign both of them. Team player options. Shea, of course. Baisley, of course. He's up to a 79. And then Jared Culver is up to a 79 as well. So that is awesome to see. And let's go to qualifying offers. Hervey, no. Hamadou Diallo, sure. Terrence Ferguson for $5 million. I'm not going to be doing that. And in free agency, we should have a lot of bird rights. Or we could just go ahead and try and sign Giannis. We could go ahead and try and sign Giannis and Kawhi, I guess. I'd be willing to throw them contract offers. Um, let's see if they sign. They're not signing. Okay, so we're not going to renounce the rights on Roberson or Adams or Gallinari. All right, so let's go in and try and get our players back on their bird rights. So Gallinari, will throw him 75. Steven Adams will throw him. They only want him expecting 17. That's actually really interesting because I'm surprised they wouldn't have him at more. So we'll do those three there. And then we're going to have to try and go back and get other people. We're not going to renounce the rights on him. Uh, Ferguson and Nader we can. Muscala, sure. Um, Diallo, sure. Now, who else do we have bird rights on? Um, Roberson, let's throw him a little bit more than the minimum. And then, who else did we have to bring back? <sighs> I don't really care about Ferguson or Nader, so let's go with this. Let's get all three of these guys in here. And now we're in free agency. Kawhi is still out there, but obviously we don't have the money for that anymore. Let's look at our team. Um, okay, so we have some moves to make, obviously, but let's try and sign some good backups. Ennis Cantor, that'd be decent. Um, also, Justin Holiday, Love that guy. And then Kent Bazemore. And then we should be pretty good there. So let's go out of free agency. Let's go to player progression. Let's see how Culver, uh, Baisley, and some of the other players look. So Shea is an 88. Gallo is an 82. We're going to change him to a small four, trade him away. We're going to trade away Steven Adams and Al Horford. Wow, Al Hor Horford really went down. So we got some moves to make, but we also have a ton of first round picks, which is going to help us out immensely. I'm going to send some people to the training camps. We'll get into season number two, and hopefully we can make a playoff run in our second season. All right, so I'm going to go ahead and change some positions um, just to make sure we can trade people at their highest value. Wow, Horford's already a power forward. Yeah. So we're going to go with that, and let's try and trade away Steven Adams first off. I got picks, so we'll do this first round pick with Steven Adams. See if we can get Zach Levine, interesting player to have. Jonathan Isaac, also pretty interesting. Um, DeMontis Sabonis, not somebody I've had a lot. I'm trying to think if I have a power forward. I don't think I do. Really the only guy that's safe is Shea. So I would be interested in trading for Sabonis, someone I don't get a lot. So we'll do that, and we're also bringing in a top five protected 2023 first round pick, which is going to be good for some more trade um, stuff down the line. Gallinari and this first. Can we bring in a really good player with Gallinari? Um, Aaron Gordon, Clint Capella to play center for us isn't bad. But I can throw in another first and see if that helps at all. Um, Kyle Lowry is just a little too old for me, but Kevin Porter Jr. would be nice. Ah, none of these trades are really what I'm looking for. So let's go back. How much is Gallinari making? Maybe we got to throw a little more money. So let's take Gallo and like Juancho Hernan Gomez with a first. And maybe we can get something good there. A little bit more money. Now we're sitting at about 21, 22 million. Um, yeah, I don't see anything. Like, I don't mind this trade here for Clint Capella. Um... But maybe Gallinari by himself could get his Clint Capella, which would be nice. So Malik Beasley, Chris Boucher, Lonzo Ball, Blake Griffin. Okay, we can't get Clint Capella that way. So let's go ahead, throw this pick swap in, bring in Clint Capella, and then move on that way, bringing in another first. So now our starting lineup is looking pretty, pretty solid, actually. Culver as an 80. I would like to keep Culver, but maybe his trade value is good enough that I should trade him with, like, Al Horford. Could Culver and Al Horford get me something good? That very well could do it for me. That'd be about $33 million. We throw in a first-round pick from the Clippers. Tobias Harris, Chris Middleton. I haven't got Chris Middleton in a hot minute, honestly. Um, 
Yeah, let's do Chris Middleton, man. I'm happy with that. And then we got to get a point guard. And who could we trade to get a point guard? We could trade Dennis Schroeder and see if there's a better point guard. Like, if we could trade Dennis Schroeder for, like, um, DeJounte Murray, maybe? Oh, let's go try and do that. Um, let's see if there's an offer for DeJounte Murray from the Spurs. And then we'll move on after that. So DeJounte Murray, they want Shea and Schroeder or Sabonis and Holiday. Okay, we're not going to do that. So let's go ahead and try and build a trade for DeJounte Murray. I love DeJounte Murray. I think he would fit on this team really well. So I'll throw you Schroeder. Um, oh, I had trade override on. I got to trade them back and then I'll try and redo things. I am so sorry about that. So let's propose a trade. Um, player. I got to go trade trade override back on. I haven't used it at all until that one because I was just using Trade Finder. Um, sorry about that. That was my bad. So Schroeder and we'll do Murray and we'll trade them back. Okay, so stupid me. Let's go ahead and fix that before we do anything else. So um, trade override, turn that off. I had that on just to get the trade to go through earlier. Okay, now let's go ahead with the Spurs and try and make a similar trade. So DeJounte Murray and I will again throw them Dennis Schroeder. Okay, and then I can throw you this top five protected pick. Wow, that's all it took. I love it. So, now our starting lineup looks really good. Um, part of me wants to try and trade Clint Capella with a couple picks and get better, though. If we can get a better center for Clint Capella, I would, I would definitely do that. If I threw, like, Sheldon in there and a first, maybe that does it for someone. Wendell and Zach Levine would be something because then Zach could come off the bench for us. Um, Bam on a bio. I haven't got Bam. Feels like in a minute. Mitchell Robinson, Gordon Hayward. I get Mitchell Robinson all the time, though. I know you guys don't like seeing the same people over and over and over again. Um, so Bam and Courtney Wilkins or Wendell and Zach Levine. Wendell's on the last year of his contract. So is Levine. How about Bam? He's got a three-year deal. All right, we're going to do this trade here. Um, perfect. Bam's an 87. I love Bam on a bio. Now, off the bench, we have a good backup power forward, a good shooting guard, a decent small forward. We got to get a point guard and a center off the bench. So we will trade away Hernan Gomez and two firsts, and hopefully we can get a good point guard or center. Can't We could get Cantor back, which would be solid. Uh, Chris Dunn is a backup point guard. I don't hate that either. I'm probably going to do that one. Um, so Chris Dunn in a first. And then we will trade away. Um, Justin Holiday, Andre Roberson, and a first, and see if we can bring in. Okay, there's nothing there. Let's just do Justin Holiday, and two firsts. See if we can bring in a backup center, Daniel Gafford. That's a good option. Um, yeah, we're gonna go Daniel Gafford. And let's go set the rotation. We're going to go 10-man rotation. Ventualization, again, always goes down for me. <sighs> okay. So I like our bench where we're at. And we're probably just going to run like Wilkins in the G League if we have a spot for him down there. Um, we don't. Let's go sign a free agent. Is there any good free agents? Gary Trent Jr. wants $17 million. He's not going to take a minimum. Alfred Payton, not going to take a minimum either. Aaron Baines, would he take a minimum contract? Maybe. He declined. Okay, so we got to go a little bit less. Willie Cauley Stein. Okay, he declined as well. So let's just go ahead and get um, like a really cheap guy. Tony Fleming. Minimum, he does accept. And we should be able to send down Wilkins to the G League. Okay, perfect. So this is our lineup. We got defense with Murray, Middleton, Bam, we got scoring with Sabonis and Shea, although I guess Middleton can score the ball too. So we should be we should be pretty good. Balance systems, four stars. I'm going to simulate season number two. Hopefully we can make a deep playoff run, and if we don't win the championship this year, we should be set up really well to win next year. Either way, I will see you guys at the end of season number two. Also, if you guys are wondering, um, I know like I traded away everybody that I got in that um in that trade 
And basically that was kind of my idea from the start. I didn't do it by accident. I wanted to get rid of those guys, get off of Horford's contract, um, use the value of Hernan Gomez and Culver and really just try and um, set this team up for the future. So if you guys were expecting me to keep Horford and stuff, that was never the plan. So I'm sorry if that's what you were expecting. But here are all of the awards. Giannis is on the heat. Um, we end up with 58 wins and it looks like uh, the Grizzlies got 59. So we aren't the one seed. Do we have any... All NBA team members does not look like it, but the Timberwolves must have been good too. They had an All NBA team, third team for D'Lo and Cat, and then Simmons on first team defense. We did get Dejounte Murray on uh, second team defense, which is great to see as always. He usually ends up there, but we are the two seed. Where's Taylor Jenkins coaching then? He must be in Miami or something. Um, like 59. Oh, he's coaching the Timberwolves. Oh, so they, they don't have Saunders. Okay, okay. I see it now. Um, anyways, Chris Middleton led us in scoring at 19. We had one, two, three, four, five guys over 13 points a game, basically. All right. I think this team should be good enough to uh, at least get to the Western Conference Finals, hopefully the finals. Let's simulate the first round up against the Lakers. They're up 2-1, okay? I don't like this already. Can we come out? They're going to go up 3-1. Yikes. Um, okay. So what does their lineup look like? Um, coach game plan for the Lakers. I want to put Bam on Anthony Davis if he's still there. So Davis is going to be guarded by Bam. Drummond's going to be guarded by Sabonis. LeBron's guarded by... DeJounte Murray. Gary's going to be guarded by Chris Middleton and Warwick by who's our other starter? Uh, Shea. Where's Shea? Okay. That's going to be the move we make there. Let's simulate with Simcast and see if we can come back from down 3-1. Um, looks like we have a slight lead and it does last throughout the game. So it's 3-2 now. Can we tie it up and force a game 7? Uh, they look like they're pulling away. Um, I don't think we're going to come back, and we do not, and we lose in the first round. So we got to come back next year for the third and final season and see if we can get it done. The Heat go on to win the championship with Giannis as the finals MVP. All right, so let's go to draft lottery. I don't think we had any picks. Um, let me just make sure. Looks like we're good. So let's go ahead into uh, the NBA draft. Or not the draft, sorry. Team player options, and we got to get Baisley back in here. And let's go to qualifying offers. Shea, we're going to extend that. Fleming, sh no. And then free agency. We don't have enough money for like Luca or anything. We got to get bird rights. Resign Shea, Gilgis Alexander. We'll throw him a big contract so he comes back. And Roberson on a minimum. I'm cool with that. So we're going to bring in Shea and Roberson. Renouncing the rights on Kent Bazemore is fine. And perfect. What? Who else? I got to make sure everybody else is in under contract. So we still have Middleton, Autobios, Sabonis, and Murray. The bench still looks pretty good. Um, so let's go into free agency and just make sure we get Shea and Roberson back. So we're going to match Shea. That's fine because uh, we're not going to go into another season. We can get Kendrick Nunn. So that's an option as like a backup point guard for us. Gary Harris, Will Barton, Jay Crowder, Daniel Tice. Um, I'm going to go ahead and bring in Kendrick Nunn and get him on that nine million dollar contract hopefully okay he got matched so then we'll go ahead and try and bring in daniel tice would be a good backup center option for us so we'll bring tyson and then we'll try and bring in like caruso sure and maybe like trey burke caruso and burke do both come in so let's go to player progression see how everybody looks there um shay's an 89 bam's an 87 sabonis so middleton 86 and murray's an 85 I think we're going to have to make some moves to make this team a true title contender. I'll send some people to the training camps, though. Then we'll get into the third and final season and see if we can make something happen. So I'll see you guys in there. So we have won too many players. So honestly, I'm probably going to try and make my splash right now. And that's going to be Chris Middleton. Because with Chris Middleton, for me, um, I really don't... How do I put this? He didn't, like, he didn't meet my expectations for him last year. So I'm going to trade him away. And see what we can get for him with two firsts here. 
Jalen Brown, I would love Jalen Brown and he would be better than Chris Middleton in my opinion. Jimmy Butler, I, I, I don't know about 2K21, but Jimmy Butler in 2K20 was just not it. So I'm scared to trade him because we have to win a championship. Um, Brandon Ingram would be a guy. We'd also bring in Nikhil Alexander-Walker, which would be decent. He has some trade value. Um, but for some reason, I'm feeling more called to get Jalen Brown and run him at the small forward. So we're going to do that. Um, so then let's get into this. Oh, we have too, too many players now. So I'm probably just going to trade Fleming and Alexi Dunn or Roberson for a pick or something. Okay, we'll trade him for this guy. And then we'll try and trade that guy for a pick. Because that's really all we can do. So um, give me just a pick. Two picks. Perfect. And let's get into the season. So Jalen Brown's got to go to the small forward for me. And yeah, I like that. Um, maybe we try and trade like Sabonis or something and try and get a little bit better at the power forward spot if we can. So I'm just going to look at every option because we have to do something to win a championship. John Collins, I'd still rather have Sabonis probably. Um, okay, so that's not the move. So what if we traded away like DeJounte Murray in two first? Could we bring in a better point guard? Um, we get Hero and Capello and we'd have to trade like Shea to get a point guard. It's an option, I guess. Zach Levine. I kind of like DeJounte Murray. Um, but I want to get some scoring at a different position. So what can we get for Shea in two first? Nothing. Nothing for anything. Okay. How about Bam? Bam would be a guy we could trade for like a Carl Anthony Towns or something maybe. A uh, Nikola Jokic. Chris Opsworth Zingas adds a little bit of scoring for us. Um, yeah. Uh, let's go try and do a deal for like a Cat or a Jokic. Um, we'll try Jokic first if he's not untouchable. Um, but usually I feel like he is. So let's go look. Jokic, yeah, he's untouchable. What about Towns? Okay, doesn't say that Towns is untouchable. He's only an 88. This, dude, 2K is so broken. Um, okay. And Bede's untouchable. Any other centers that would be good for this team? Not really. Okay, let's try and trade for Cat, I guess. Um, but... Man, I just don't know if it's... I don't know. Let's try and do it, but I'm not going to overpay for him. I'm going to throw in picks, but if I have to try and throw in another player or something, I'm just going to fold my cards. So, Cat. Cat should be the best player in this team, and he's the third best, which is just ridiculous. But we'll throw in Bam, and I'll throw you this first. Okay, I'll throw you this first. I'll throw you all my first, and that's all I'm going to be able to do. Okay, we got we got Cat. All right, so we got Murray, Gilgis, Brown, Sabonis, and Cat. We got more scoring now. We still got some defense with Brown, Shea, and Murray. The bench looks good. We just need to change like Wilkins or Dunn to a small four or to a shooting guard because Dunn at a shooting guard should go up quite a bit. He actually goes up as a small forward too, but we'll go with that. 10-man rotation. Let's set the system. Balanced. All right, perfect. I will simulate season number three. Hopefully this team can take us to a championship. Not sure, but I will see you guys at the end of the season. Maybe Carl Anthony Towns and Jalen Brown were just what we needed because we went 65 and 17. Here are all the awards. If you guys are interested, I'm just going to go through those quick. Otis Newman does win coach of the year. And do we have any thunder? We do not have any thunder on any All-NBA teams. Defensively, we do have DeJounte Murray. Um, and that's it. So, we are the one seed out west this season, which is great to see. Cat led us in scoring with 25, 24 points. Jalen Brown with 16 and a half. Sabonis with 15.8. All right, J.D. Vaughn, our second or third year player, um, looked really good. 11 points, three and a half rebounds. All right, so we should be able to beat John Morant and Memphis here. Um, I just want to see who else is on their team. What's going on here? Okay, Ja Herter. Brooks, Jackson Jr., and Valanciunas. We should be able to beat this team. And we sweep them, and we got Sacramento now. Who has Lonzo Ball? They lost De'Aaron Fox in free agency. Interesting. 
Uh, we should handle these guys pretty easily too, and we do sweep them. And then Luka Doncic, Christian Wood, and Kristaps Porzingis. 3-2, okay, I'm glad I stopped that. Let's try and win this game. Hopefully we don't have to go to a game seven. Uh, it's pretty close, and we do win by one, and we're in the NBA Finals. And we got Tyus Jones, Tyler Hero, Jimmy Butler, Giannis, and Clint Capella. So let's go ahead and do game by game. See if we can win game one, and we do. How about game two? They take game two, and can we take game three? They take game three, okay. They take game four as well. Uh-oh. We got to come back from a 3-1 deficit here. It looks like we're going to do it 3-2 uh, there. Can we come back and force a game seven? Yes, we do win that one, and then game seven. I'm going to jump in if I have to. Uh, let's see. They start out pretty good, but it's a close game. Um, we're up barely. We're up by about 10, and I think we're going to do it. So we do win by 17, and we win the championship. Let's go. All right, place your bets on finals MVP. My guess goes to Sabonis. That is my underdog pick. And it's actually DeJounte Murray. I almost picked DeJounte Murray, but something was telling me Sabonis. Uh, 14 points, almost 10 assists, and 5.5 and rebounds. I don't know how everybody else played. Is there anybody in our team that played better than that? Um... Like, fine, let me go to the final stats and see if we had anybody that played better um, throughout the playoffs, or throughout the finals, I mean, uh, than DeJounte Murray did. Oh, wow. Okay, so we had Cat at 19, 8, and 3.5. And I think that's a little bit better. Sabonis also a little bit better. Um, but shout out to DeJounte Murray, um, finals MVP. But thank you guys so much for watching this. If you guys want to see tomorrow's video, that will be the 76er side of this where they get Chris Paul and they get Malik Beasley and I'm and they also get the 2021 pick from the Timberwolves probably won't be good because they're gonna have Ben Simmons then um but yeah should be really interesting so stick around check out that video thank you for watching this video all the way to the end if you watch all the way to the end in the comment section below I want you to comment the word comment the letter W just so I know you made it all the way to the end and you are a real MVP um, but yeah, subscribe if you're new, turn on the post notifications, like the video, appreciate you all, and until next time, peace.